Hello, welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. In this video on chart work, we shall try and understand the concept of position lines and various methods which could provide us a position line to be plotted on the chart. A position line is any line that passes through the observer's position. So once we know a PL on chart, that means the observer lies somewhere on that position line. In chart work, we often refer to straight line PLs. However, sometimes non-straight line PL is also used. A unique straight line can be drawn on chart or any plane surface only if one of the following conditions is satisfied. A point through which to draw the position line and the direction of the position line is known or we know the two points through which to draw the position line. Let us now list down all the methods which can possibly be used in chart work to give us the PL. Bearings, these bearings could be visual or obtained by use of any electronic navigational aid like radar. PL by transit bearing, PL by opposite bearings, sector boundaries of sector lights acting as PL, depth contours being used as PL, and lastly, the celestial position lines. Now let us understand all of these one by one PL by bearing. On the chart, please remember only true courses and true bearings are to be plotted. The bearings given to us in the questions or obtained on ships may be gyro or compass. We must be proficient in converting gyro bearings to and true bearings to gyro. Likewise, compass to two and to compass depending on which compass whether the standard compass or the gyro compass has been used for taking the bearings if in doubt please watch the video on compass error and its applications now pl by bearing let's understand this through these small examples plot the following pls on chart Old head of Kinsale, light bearing 270 degrees compass, variation 5 degrees west, deviation 3 degrees east. And the second one, process point light bearing 330 degrees gyro, gyro error 2 degrees low. First thing is, we need to identify these landmarks, old head of Kinsale light and process point light on the chart. You can see that this one is old head of Kinsale and this one is the Roche's point. Now we need to convert the compass and the gyro bearings into true. Now the first case we have the variation is 5 degrees west, deviation 3 degrees east, compass error shall be the algebraic sum of variation and deviation which in this case would be 2 degrees west. The compass bearing of old head of Kinsale is given to be 270 degrees compass to which we apply the compass error and obtain the true bearing. We can remember the old rhyme error west compass best error east compass least meaning if error is west then compass is more than true and if error is east compass least compass is lesser than true. So in this case, error west, compass best, and thus the true bearing of old head of Kinsale light is 268 degrees true. The second one is the Roche's point light bearing 330 degrees gyro. Gyro error given in the question is 2 degrees low. Low gyro error means that the gyro values are lesser than the true. So accordingly, we apply and bearing of the Roche's point is then 332 degrees true. 
Now we plot these bearings, we use compass roses and we plot the bearing on the side on which the vessel may be. We don't have to draw it on both sides. Now you can see on this uh, chart, this uh, old head of Kinsale light bearing 268 degrees true. So the PL is drawn in the reverse direction. So if you're anywhere on this PL, which could be extended to whatever length you need, the bearing of old head of Kinsale shall be 268 degrees true. Likewise for Roche's point where the bearing is 332 degrees true, you draw it in the reciprocal direction. So now wherever you may be on this line, the bearing of Roche's point light would be 332 degrees true. And this line could be extended to whatever length we need for our purpose. PL by transit bearing. Two lights or two conspicuous objects are set to be in transit when both are in straight line as viewed from the ship or from the observer. That is, the bearing of both the objects is the same to the observer. When in transit, the ship has to be on a straight line passing through those two conspicuous points or the objects. As there is one and only one straight line that can be drawn through two points on a plane surface, the line joining the, the two objects extended in the direction of the ship provides a PL to the observer. Transit bearings also provide a convenient opportunity to obtain the compass error. Let us understand the transit bearing and its use for getting the compass error through a simple example. At 20 hundred hours, vessel observes Bellina Coti light and mine head light to be in transit. When in transit, bearing was observed to be 015 degrees gyro and 018 degrees compass. Draw 20 hundred hours PL. Obtain the error of the gyro compass. Obtain error of the standard compass or the compass error. If variation is 3 degrees west, find the deviation for the ship's head. First, let us identify the Bellina Coti light and the mine head light on the chart. On the chart, this one is mine head light and this one is Bellina Coti light. Now we draw the PL by transit bearing. That means we join these two landmarks and extend them on the side on which the ship is likely to be and that becomes the PL. Now you can see on this, these two have been joined and extended on this side where the ship is likely to be and this becomes 20 hundred hour PL by transit bearing. Now we use our parallel ruler, put it on this line and read off the bearing of mine head and uh, Bellina Coti, which of course would be same from the compass row. In this case, we find that the two bearing of mine head or Bellina Coti, which is same, is 013 degrees true as read from the chart. The gyro bearing is given to be 015 degrees gyro. Obviously, the gyro error would be 2 degrees as the difference is 2 degrees. To determine whether it's high or low, we can see the gyro reading is high. So therefore, the error will be 2 degrees high. Now, two bearing, 0, 1, 3 degrees true. Compass bearing given in the question is 0, 1, 8 degrees compass. The compass error shall be the difference of the two. That is 5 degrees and it shall be west. Why? Because compass best, error west. So compass error is 5 degrees west. Variation is 3 degrees east given in the question. Therefore, deviation from the ship's head becomes 8 degrees west because it is the algebraic sum of variation and deviation, which is the compass error. Next is 
PL by opposite or reciprocal bearings. Two lights or conspicuous objects are said to be on opposite bearing or reciprocal bearing when their bearings differ exactly by 180 degrees. When on opposite bearings, the ship must be on the straight line segment joining the two points or the objects. There is one and only one straight line segment that can be drawn through two points on a plane surface. The segment joining the two objects or the points provides the position line. Unlike other PLs, this PL has a definite length. The segment is only between or the PL length is only between the two conspicuous points. This PL cannot be indefinitely extended like the other ones. Opposite bearings also provide a convenient opportunity to obtain the compass error. Let us understand this PL and its use for getting the compass error through a small example. At 2000 hours, vessel observes hook head light and conning baked light vessel to be on opposite bearings. At the same instant, hook head light bore 293 degrees gyro and 296 degrees compass. Draw 2000 hours PL. Obtain the error of the gyro compass. Obtain the error of the standard compass. If the variation is 3 degrees west, find the deviation for the ship's head at that time. Like earlier cases, let's first identify the two landmarks, hook head light and the conning baked light vessel. So on the chart you can see this one is hook head light and this one is conning baked light vessel. We can now draw the 2000 RPL by joining these two points. You can see this blue segment here joining these two points is the 2000 RPL. If the vessel is anywhere on this PL, the bearing of hook head and conning bag would be separated by exactly 180 degrees. Now, read off the true bearing of hook head light. You transfer this line to the compass rows and read off the true bearing in the direction of hook head from the chart. True bearing of the hook head light from the chart is 296 degrees true. Gyro bearing of hook head given in the question is 293 degrees gyro. These two values give us the gyro error as 3 degrees low. True bearing of hook head light is 296 degrees true. Compass bearing of the hook head light given to us in the question is also 296 degrees compass. Therefore, the compass error becomes nil or 0 degrees. If variation is 3 degrees west, then the deviation must be 3 degrees east, making the compass error 0 degrees. Next is PL by sector boundaries of sector lights. Sector lights are the lights that are visible in different colors over different arcs of visibility. In some cases, the sectors may be for arc of visibility and arc of obscurement, the arc in which the light may not be visible at all. The boundaries of the sectors of the arcs of different colors or arcs of visibility and obscurement are printed on the chart. When vessel observes the change taking place from one sector to another, means the vessel is on the sector boundary. The sector boundary is then the position line of the observer. Let us understand the sector boundaries as PL through this example of Bellina Coti light, which is a sector light visible in different colors over different sectors. In the chart, here is Bellina Coti light, and you can see that there are certain sector boundaries which are already printed on the chart, and this light is visible in different sectors in different colors. 
it's visible in white out here red in this sector white in this sector and green in this sector now if there is a vessel which is on a northeasterly course observes Bellina Corti light to change as follows 20 hundred hours it changes from white to red 20 20 it changes from red to white and at 2050 it changes from white to green please remember these change in colors have to be seen together with the course that the vessel is steering in this case the vessel is steering northeasterly course we need to identify of all these which are the pls at 2000 hours 2020 and 2050 as you can see when on northeasterly course when the vessel crosses this pl this sector boundary the color would change from white to red on this sector boundary it would change from red to white and on this sector boundary it will change from white to green so this would be 20 hundred rpl this would be 2020 pl and this would be 2050 pl pl by depth contour depth contours are the lines drawn on chart joining positions having same depth of the seabed depth on chart are called as charted depths charted depths are given with respect to chart datum which is usually the lowest astronomical tide level observed depths must be reduced or converted with respect to chart datum before they can be compared with charted depths a conversion a tidal variance with respect to the chart datum must be allowed to the observed depth let's look at it through an example at 1400 hours a vessel drawing 7 meters records under keel clearance or ukc of 45 meter by echo sounder if the tide was 2 meters above the chart datum calculate the charted depth at that particular time identify on the chart at that moment if vessel could be on a depth contour so first and foremost we convert the given depth to charted depth ukc 45 meters draft 7 meters this gives us an observed depth of 52 meters at that point of time tide meters above chart datum so the charted depth at that time is 50 meters now if you see on the chart this depth contour this depth contour on the chart is depth contour for 50 meters this is the 50 meter depth contour so if the charted depth at that time was 50 meters that means the vessel is somewhere on this yellow highlighted depth contour and this depth contour now acts as a PL. Celestial PLs. Celestial observations when solved provide a position through which to draw the PL and the direction of the PL. The position through which the PL is drawn depends on the method deployed for solving the celestial observation the direction of the pl in every case of celestial position line is perpendicular to the azimuth of the celestial body in case of latitude by meridian altitude the azimuth can be either north or south thus in case of latitude by meridian altitude the direction of the PL, which is like any other case perpendicular to azimuth, is specifically east-west. Celestial PLs are represented on chart by single arrows at each of its ends. Now let's look at the various methods of solving the sites and based on each method, the position through which to draw the PL. In latitude by meridian altitude cases, the position th through which to draw the PL is observed latitude and DR longitude. 
direction of the PL is perpendicular to azimuth and in this case specifically east-west. Longitude by chronometer, position through which to draw the PL is dr lat, observed long, direction of the PL perpendicular to azimuth. X meridian method, position through which to draw the PL, observed lat, dr long, and direction is perpendicular to azimuth. Polaris or the pole star, observed lat, dr long perpendicular to azimuth and lastly intercept method we draw it through a point called as itp intercept terminus point and the direction is perpendicular to azimuth we'll try and understand all this through two three simple examples dr position 51 degrees 34 minutes north 008 degrees 02 minutes west above dr position used for solving various celestial observations based on the results provided we need to identify the method used for solving the observation and then accordingly draw the pl on the chart the first case is star x observation gave observed long of 008 degrees 10 minutes west azimuth 070 degrees true in such cases where observed longitude is the result such observations are solved by longitude by chronometer in long by chron method the pl is drawn through dr lat and observed long you can see here this is the dr lat this one is the observed long this one is the dr long so it is where the dr dr lat intersects the observed long through this point we draw the pl direction of the pl is perpendicular to azimuth so if azimuth is 070 degrees true we add 90 to it and subtract 90 to get the direction of pl as 160 degrees to 340 degrees true and this blue line then with single arrow at each end becomes the PL for star X. Let's look at the next example. Star Y observation gave an intercept of two miles towards azimuth 040 degrees true. When intercept is obtained as output of a celestial observation, the observation then has been solved by intercept method in intercept method the pl is drawn through itp now in this case azimuth is 040 intercept is two miles towards dr position is here so here is what we draw the dr on the chart then we draw the azimuth of the body which in this case is 040 degrees true now intercept is two miles towards towards means from dr towards the body so from dr we mark of a point two miles away on the azimuth line and this is the itp this point is the itp through this point we draw a pl perpendicular to azimuth so azimuth was 040 so pl direction becomes 130 to 310 and this segment represented by the black line here this represents the intercept towards of two miles now let's have a look at the last example star z observation gave an intercept of three miles away azimuth 130 degrees true here, this is the dr position azimuth is 130 degrees true now intercept is away from the body so from dr it is not towards the body it is away from the body in the opposite direction so we extend this azimuth line in the opposite direction mark of a point from dr on this line three miles off this point is the itp this represents three miles of away intercept through itp we draw the pl perpendicular to azimuth and if azimuth is 130 degrees true direction of the pl automatically becomes 040 to 220 degrees true so through these couple of examples i hope it's clear to us we need to remember the table 
which we had made for celestial PLs. And depending on the method used for solving the site, we will have to recall the position through which to draw the PL. And the direction of PL in each case is going to be perpendicular to azimuth. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please feel free to reach us on marinegurupul at gmail.com. If you need any other support from us on this front, please do reach out to us. Thank you once again for watching this video. Thank you.